Now 2020, a year to remember. We continue our look back on the year that is almost over. This past year's hurricane season was unprecedented and historic. Luckily, we here in South Florida were spared any significant storms that impacted so many others elsewhere. Here's CBS 4 meteorologist Dave Warren. The forecast called for it. The first named storm was here before the official start of hurricane season, and by the end of it, it turned out to be a record one. For the second time in history, the standard 21 storm names would not be enough. We had to go into the Greek alphabet, but this time we made it to 30 storms, finishing the season with Category 5 Hurricane Iota. The storm tracks covered most of the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and a large number of storms making landfall along the Gulf Coast. The first major hurricane of the season was Laura, which became a Category 3 storm on August 26th. It would continue to strengthen before making landfall along the Louisiana coast on August 27th. It was one of eight named storms to impact the Gulf Coast, from Tropical Storm Beta causing flooding in Texas to the Florida Panhandle, where Hurricane Sally caused this damage around Pensacola. Hurricane Delta, although not as strong, made landfall in nearly the same location as Laura, delaying the recovery or even reversing it, blowing out makeshift windows and plywood put in place after Laura. Now, this was not the only location that had to deal with multiple storms this season. Nicaragua, Major Hurricane Ada made landfall on November 3rd. It caused catastrophic damage and flooding there and in Honduras. It was less than two weeks later that Hurricane Iota made landfall just 15 miles south of where Ada did. Iota was a Category 5 storm just off the coast with wind speeds of 160 miles an hour, but like Ada, a Category 4 at landfall. Catastrophic flooding pushed inland with the storm, spreading from Nicaragua to Guatemala. One of the few places relatively spared from this record hurricane season was South Florida. Isaias was the closest hurricane, staying just off the coast. Laura, however, well, that was one storm we watched closely. So a lot of people don't think of Laura as being a threat to South Florida, but I think it was the most significant threat and uh, turned out not to impact us. But here was the setup. It was late August and we were looking at very favorable steering winds that would have taken a system uh, near the islands towards South Florida and very favorable conditions. So the environment was set to bring a strengthening tropical storm, possibly a strengthening hurricane our way. And then if you look back at the track, what had happened was it reformed because it was still in this formation stage to the south. That was a big, big key for our weather. In fact, another day later, it jogged even further to the south and that eventually took the track south of Puerto Rico. It was just 130 miles that basically attracted to the south, but I think that made all the difference for us because then there was land disruption with Hispaniola and eventually Cuba. Had it stayed to the north of that, we would have seen a significant hurricane threat here in South Florida, possibly a destructive one. It wasn't until early November that the 2020 hurricane season would bring the biggest impacts to us here in South Florida. After curving back over the Caribbean, Ada crossed over Cuba and then turned northwest, making landfall in the Middle Keys on Sunday night, November 8th. Even though it was a tropical storm, most of South Florida woke up to this Monday morning. Areas in Broward County received over a foot of rain, leading to widespread flooding for days. Of the 30 named storms for this record-breaking season, it was just one tropical storm that had had the biggest impacts here in South Florida. And we have one final look here at all of the storm tracks there from the Atlantic, the Caribbean into the Gulf. 2020 with over 30 storms, but again, it was a tropical storm uh, here, Ada, uh, that had the biggest impacts. Uh, for now, though, we can relax with the new year comes knowing that we have five months till the start of the 20. 21 mm -hmm. hurricane season, Francis. Dave, thank you very yes. much. And a big thank you to all of the meteorologists out there. I know you guys were all very busy on busy. TV, but yes. also behind the scenes. A lot of work Absolutely. that people don't always see. Dave, thanks. Thank you very much.